Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh In this video, insha'Allah, we will be speaking about harf al-sheen It is very similar to harf al-sheen in a way But has its differences as well There are two main shapes you can write harf al-sheen The first method, which is essentially harf al-sheen With all its proportions And at the end of it, you have this little tail like thing which is similar to what you have in harf al-tha the three knuckles of harf al-tha so I'll explain how to do this in a moment you go once you finish from harf al -sin, you're gonna go up as follows around a nukta's worth and then you're gonna want to go down like that around two nuqtas worth pretty simple in harf with that you typically go the other way around where you go from down here up but in this case you go from down here up to the other side because you're starting off at the tail again this is right here is two nuqtas right here two nuqtas and over here is one nuqta and that is it for the first shape for the second shape it is the same as the head for harf al -sin, with all its proportions again for the tail it's a little different and this is going to be a new part that you're going to learn however this new part is the same for harf al -dad. so once you learn this you'll be solid for harf al -dad. Once you have the head of harf al -sin, the second step you want to do is conduct a little curve as follows. You want to start to curve up and then move down like that. So once you reach the end, this is going to be connected, of course. You're going to go up and then you're going to go down. Now the angulation of going down is going to be at a... 45 degree angle So I'm going to place my pen back where I left off and then I'm going to drag down At a 45 degree angle and that's going to be around two nuqtas worth of Dragging down Once I reach that point I'm going to go It's not straight up exactly I want to go out at an angle, but enough to create a space here in the center worth of two nuqtas. So I want to imagine that there's going to be two nuqtas over here. Right, one, two. And I want to go right outside of that. So I'm not going to go straight up. I'm going to go up at an angle. And I'm going to end when this tip reaches the same peak as the first initial t tip once i reach that point and i have two nuclear space in the center i'm going to do the same thing i did in the beginning where it's going to be a curve down again and as well same exact thing it's going to be at a 45 degree angle down and i'm just going to drag down as much as Two nuqtas worth. So this right here is going to be two nuqtas. Sounds simple, right? Uh, at this point, there you have it. That is the tail portion of harf al -sheen, right? And it is the same thing for harf al -dad. So the only new thing you're learning is this portion. This initial portion, the head, is going to be the same for harf al -sin. You can even use the other head, the one with the um, teeth. That works as well. Uh, just make sure that you have this portion correct and that everything is going as planned. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will see you in another video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.